some of you may recognize this as the stony lonesome map. In this particular case, you would be correct, but it's overlaid on Google Earth. As you can see, uh, I've actually overlaid it with the topology of Google Earth and the stony region uh, where the, the trails are, along with the colors and codes and so forth. Wanted to, to take a few minutes just to kind of give you guys an idea of, of some of the things that I like to do when I'm on the trail besides just uh, wheel, which I really love, uh, but also to kind of capture and get a better perspective and understanding of you know what I was doing and, and where we went, besides the most important thing, knowing where we are at any particular time, which is a preference of mine. So let's just get started. Uh, as you can see here, you know this this map is the overlay with the different uh, trail numbers uh, you can see that the they're actually overlaid in three dimension uh, so we actually have the topology of the uh, area of the mountains and the paths that we took during the day Go ahead and bring that back out and, and show you that. Uh, so, you know, taking a, a look at the map, as we rode Saturday, we started off here uh, at the starting point, and uh, our elevation was about 470 feet. As we progressed, um, 406, and then later 406D, we actually took the bypass and did not go up uh, the big hill. I'll just spin that around for you and zoom in to give you another perspective of that. So we basically did not take the big hill here, but we actually continued through the bypass in a lower shaded area because it was so hot. Uh, as we progressed along the 406, we then uh, moved over to 407 and picked up uh, 408 here and you can see our elevation started to pick up a little bit when we got uh, got back to the main road now we moved all the way to the back of the property and as we did so we moved through uh, 407 and 408 here we are at the entrance to 408, and it, as you can see, we started to climb a pretty decent elevation hill of about uh, 250, uh, almost uh, 270 feet, till we got to the near the top here. At which time we crossed the main road and jumped on 411. And as you can see, 411, we kind of rode the crest for a little while. Came back down into, into uh, meet some friends over here at uh, call station 2. And then we moved on to the, the probably the most fun spot of the day, if not uh, the most difficult. We moved on to Yeti Bottom. And you can see here with Yeti Bottom, as we entered the red trail, the elevation dropped significantly from 769 feet above sea level to 547 at the bottom. And then uh, we had to climb our way back out in actually a shorter distance. So the pitch was, uh, was greater in that, uh, in that area. We then moved on to 421, you'll see right here in blue, coming out of Yeti Bottoms. And, uh, you know, picking up 421, we had, we had another pretty good drop off there. Uh, then we moved over and we came out to uh, 503 and the backside of uh, that mountain right here so we jumped on 503 and I uh, had a couple interesting little turns and so forth I'll try to spin the map to get to that point so 
So as we moved over to 503, you can see that we moved to the back side of this mountain. And we had some pretty interesting, uh, pretty cool, uh, pretty tricky, rode the brakes quite a bit in uh, low gear. Right in this region right here, you can see this drop off was pretty, pretty steep in the elevation on the lower part of the screen. Uh, that was that was fun. You'll hear us talking on the radio about that. And then uh, we finished out on 502 and then on 501 on that side of the hill, which was, you know, uneventful, thankfully. Um, Keith actually decided to get real wet right here at call station eight in the bog. And then right before the rainstorm hit, we went ahead and finished out on 402 and uh, had some really slippery conditions in a couple of these turns uh, with uh, some high centering going on on my part but uh, we were able to winch out of that and uh, finish the day with uh, nothing broken and uh, a lot of smiles and a lot of good times. You may not be, uh, you know, be a technology person, and that's okay. You may just like to go out and ride, uh, and that's fine too. Uh, I just happen to, you know, enjoy this aspect as well, and wanted to take a few minutes just to kind of share, uh, you know, how I was using technology to uh, show and demonstrate where we are on the trail at any given time, and um, you know where we've been after the fact. So have a great day and uh, keep it safe on the trails.